what's going on sweet gang it's your girl rochelle back with another video coming to give you life if you're new to my channel welcome to your sweet connection where ro gives you life and to my followers my subbies welcome 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 back but as you see here and in the description this is the candy apple the denim candy apple and as you see i already have my mix already going i wanted to come to you and show you how i add my blue to achieve the denim look and as it reaches to the 300 degree mark i will pull it off and get to adding um my food coloring everything else um that is added um will be in the description below i'm gonna go over real quickly the supplies that i have because i came to you already with my hot candy mix already ready set to go because i didn't want this um video to be too long because i have more to give you guys i have my hot glue gun i have my um icing color by wilton's royal blue i have a kabuki brush i have a twist tie i have three granny smith apples i have chef masters white and i have my blue jean ribbon i have a ruler and of course my 400 degree spoon that's going to go in my mix now that it has reached reached the 300 I'm going to remove the mix. Okay. Shutting that off. And I'm just going to get some of these things out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and remove. the thermometer you want to take your thermometer and put it in a cup of cold water and we're gonna go ahead and add the blue coloring okay and also we're gonna start with the blue first adding adding it to the mix um, I'm not measuring the blue out what I'm doing is giving an eyeball of the color because you tend to add more color um, at the end at times it all depends on what color you really is a trying really trying to achieve okay so as I go ahead and mix that in you want to make sure that you mix this color and you don't want to stay too long mixing your color you want to work swiftly to get the color color all mixed in or your candy mixture will get hard I know it have been a lot of people in my comments asking me why does my candy get hard um, well it's supposed to get hard if you want to cook it at a certain stage of the mix um, you can do so as well but we'll get all we'll get into that later I want to go ahead and add the white just one two do three drops of white okay and go ahead and mix that in you want to mix well adding the white will bring out your color if you don't add the white your apples will be transparent okay that means you'll see right through your apple okay and I'm looking at my mixture 
and I want to add a little bit more blue okay I'm adding a little bit more blue because it looks a little bit transparent to me and this is why I like to add my color at the end because I can do this um, adding more at the end even if you cook the mixture with the color in it it still is the same way you just have to get comfortable enough adding two more drops of white you have to get comfortable enough with your mixture um, when adding more color now as you see here my mixture is getting thick okay now the mixture is getting thick if you think your mixture is getting thick too quick add it back to your stove and just for a few minutes as it thin, thins out when it starts to bubble or so is when you want to remove it so once I see some bubbles I'll remove it and then we're gonna start dipping all right so we are back and we are going to start dipping our apples so as I wipe one good last time tilting your pot so that your candy mixture goes to the corner of your pot holding your apple at an angle mainly going towards the bottom and just begin to turn I like to make sure my candy is fully covered okay that pretty blue letting the excess drip over and when you're dipping apples it doesn't take this long I'm just being careful and showing you all the technique of how I dip my apples and how to achieve the fullness of your candy mixture okay almost lost the uh, I almost lost the straw okay so make sure you be careful dipping your apples okay that's why it's important as you see me added more color to the mixture you see how your candy mixture get thick I wanted to come to you guys and show you the difference in adding more adding more adding more it thickens and you have to be very careful when doing that now the question has been asked can you reheat candy mixture after it has gotten hard yes you can you can reheat mixture you can break it up put it up um, seal it up until you want to reheat it later now I advise that when you reheat your candy mixture you will add just a little bit of water and then put it on low heat and watch your candy mixture melts because it can burn quickly okay you really have to be good at um, uh, reheating your mixture and comfortable with doing it because you will burn the candy it will burn quick and then that'll just be a waste and you just have to start all start all over so I just wanted to show to you and demonstrate to you the difference when dipping um, or adding more color even though I like to add color at the end but I just demonstrated to you adding more and the thickness that it comes because I had comments um, why does my mixture get quick or hard so you probably added too much color 
either in the beginning or at the end. So if this demonstration has helped you um, somewhat, leave it in the comment section below if you still having problems. But I wanted to add that in this video because I had a lot of questions um, regarding that. Okay? So, and we have... Before I show you how to create the denim look, I want to show you guys um, uh, another thing that has been asked over and over about how do I bag or when do I bag after I dip my apples. I just got through dipping these and I am going to demonstrate to you with the cell phone bag that you can dip your apples just a few minutes after you dip. I mean, I'm sorry, you can bag your apples just a few minutes after you dip them, okay? Dipping, going into the bag, as you see here, it's not sticky or anything like that. See that? The only way that they will start getting, starting to stick, if you leave them by, if I leave them by this hot plate, then it'll start getting sticky okay but that's not what I want to do see so adding them to or bagging them is fine but what you want to do when you bag them let them sit open sit open overnight for just a few minutes put them in a nice cool area and then begin to close them up and put them away nothing should go wrong with your apples just keep them away from hot the heat or don't put them in the refrigerator you put them in the refrigerator then they they'll they will begin to stick okay so let's get started on the denim look I have me a napkin paper towel my kabuki brush and my apple and my white food coloring now what you want to do is take your kabuki brush and dab in the white okay you want to dab on the napkin so you won't have that much white on your apple and just begin to pat and see here I have too much already okay and just dab around your apple white tap on your napkin because you see how and just dab around your apple Okay. Just keep dabbing. You should have enough white on there to achieve that denim look. And I'm just going to add some more white. Not too much. See if you don't dab. you will have too much white on your apple. See? And that's how you achieve your denim. Okay, you want to let it dry, and again with the other apple, dab, and just begin to, and this, just like that, okay? Now, I would advise that you don't dab right away, let them completely dry, and then begin 
to apply the white to your apple. Okay. And that is how you achieve the denim look. Just like that. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now that we have achieved the denim look, I will be back to show you how to do your denim bow. All right, let's get started on this denim bow. You want to have a ruler. This ruler I got from the craft store is stainless stainless steel and you can get it from Michaels or um, it is an 18 inch ruler and you want to take your ribbon lining it up at the one inch and you want to measure out 25 inches long okay so I'm taking this from the 1 to the 18 bringing that here starting back at the 1 measuring out 25, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'm going to be right here at the 7. Then you want to take your scissors. It may be a little longer. That's fine. And cut. Okay. This is real easy, real simple. Um, those that are in my baking group should know and have seen my demo, my bow demo. But you want to take, and here's your hands. This is simple. Open your hand, and you want to wrap it around. But a lot of people start like this with your hand out putting one in here it's just like crossing it over cross it over to where you have like that breast cancer cross okay once you have that you want to take in the center and in the center here like accordion crunch everything that's centered here you're gonna bring together Okay, and always look at the back of your bow as well. Okay, so as I'm going to show that again, the breast cancer cross, okay, bringing everything together in the center. Now, I'm looking at my legs here and making sure they're even. And I'm going to do like a accordion crunch or just gather together. Okay. Fold in the center. As long as you gathering it together. Turn it around. Bringing your legs out this way. And there you have formed the bow. Okay, keeping this, keeping the center gathered, you want to take your twist tie. Now, you may see a lot of people sew the middle, but I'm showing you a quicker way, my technique. Take the twist tie and just twist it all the way around, all the way around, till it's all together okay you want to straighten out your legs as so and there's your bow okay now you want to take another piece of your bow of your ribbon measuring out three inches 
okay cutting that piece off and you want to take it and you want to fold it in the center of my blue finger from the food coloring okay so taking it not this way okay but this way because it has the rough edges on the these side both sides folding it in the center okay and then this is what you're going to put in the center of your bow okay that's so so how do I close off my front taking your glue gun okay just a dab not too much folding it in the center where it is going to gather and you want to make sure you cut off your extra pieces here so that they won't stick out so the back of your bow I'm sorry not the back of your bow you can either put glue on the back of your piece here or you can put glue not too much on the twist tie part so as I'm applying glue there, I'm going to apply my centerpiece here, and I added too much glue there. But folding it back, and I'm going to add glue here, and I'm going to add glue here. Just a dab, not too much, okay? Because you don't want a messy bow. And just folding it down, holding it. Till they stay together and then bring your legs and you have your bow now let's clean this up a bit being that this bow the legs are a little short now you can either do the fold cut or you can do the slant which I'm going to do the fold cut. Okay. You're going to fold it and cut in a slant, lining it up with the end edges. Okay. There you go. Folding it as so. And lining it up with the end edges. Okay. I don't have my lighter, but you are to burn these edges so that it won't unravel. Okay. Keep that in mind. Take a lighter and gently burn the edges so that they won't unravel now I'm going to come back to you showing you the finished touches of the denim apple alright we're back now what I do differently if I had an extra um, twist tie I would show you I would take the twist tie and glue it center in it to the back of the bow and then twist tie around my apple but I also do this as well. Apply just a small dab of your glue and applying it to your apple. Holding it, you apply it on the stick. You don't have to do this, but I do. And I also bag them as so. I'm going to show you as well. Okay. And 
I like to bring my bow down here. I love when my bow is low. And that's your denim apple. Okay, sweet family. What's up, sweet gang? How do I bag this? How do I bag this? I am definitely going to give you a video of bagging certain type of apples. I just want to keep it at a minimum because it's so much to learn. It's so much to go over these apples. And you know, you guys, y'all my sweet game, my sweet peeps, my sweet family. I come and I give you life. So, all the comments that you have um, put in the comment section asking, um, I will get to those requests. Um, but I will individually do a video on bagging and boxing these apples. So, being that you're the best in this sweet game my best sub subbies i need you to hit the like button and let this get to 300 likes if i get this to 300 likes if this video get to 300 likes we are i'm gonna give you the baby pacifier apple okay let this video get to 300 likes leave in the comment se section what do you think about this video? And if you're new to my channel, welcome to Your Sweet Connection. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will get with you all later. You been connected. Bro just gave you life. I gotta go. Bye-bye.